Hi, this is Dr. Mitchell, and we're going to walk through how to do a dependent t-test using JASP. It's also called a paired t-test. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to look at our data real quick. And so I'm actually uh, use an Excel file. And here is a group of data that we have. Uh, so this data, again, we're doing a paired or dependent t-test. So for our dependent variable, and in this data set, we looked at hemoglobin. And we also looked at LDL cholesterol. And so we have each of our subjects is in a row. Um, and then each dependent variable has its own column. So pre-hemoglobin has its own column. Post-hemoglobin has its own column. Pre-LDL has its own column, so on and so forth. And so really key with JASP, you have to format your data like this in order to do a dependent or a paired t-test in JASP. And obviously, if you have more variables, I could have looked at HDL and total triglycerides and numerous other variables. I could just continue on in different columns. So assuming I have that set up, assuming I have that saved as a CSV file, I'm then going to go to JASP, and we're going to open that up in JASP. Um, we'll go to our files. We'll find that. And this will look very similar to what I saw in Excel. So I'm going to go to my test options. We're going to go to t-tests. And again, we're going to use the classical tests here in JASP, and we're going to do a paired sample t-test. Okay, so now we've opened up our analysis. So what it wants to know is, okay, what are your paired variables? Well, uh, for hemoglobin, it's pre versus post, right? That's a paired t-test. So we're going to take our pre and put it into our box right there, and we're going to compare it to post. And we'll put it in our box right there. And immediately when I do that, you'll notice on the right panel here, it's going to give me my T-score, my degrees of freedom, and most importantly, my P-value. As we see, that P-value is 0.49. Uh, that is greater than 0.05, and therefore it's not statistically significant. Uh, and with that, just like previously with JASP, uh, we can look at effect size. I can click on effect size, and it'll tell me what the effect size is. I can ask for descriptive values. What's the mean, standard deviation, standard error? Uh, I can even do a descriptive plot. And we'll move me, we'll move this over a little bit so we can see our plot. Um, it has the error bars, really easy just with a couple clicks. Right? Now, I can continue on. Uh, if I wanted, I can, in this same analysis, look at LDL and pull LDL over, pre versus post, and immediately it's going to give me those values. And you'll notice with pre-LDL, post-LDL, it uh, gives me my T-score, my degrees of freedom, and my P-value, which is 0.02. That is statistically significant. And it immediately threw those in my descriptives and immediately gave me my chart down here, as you can see. Uh, and so you, can, again, can do multiple, multiple T-tests like this, again, paired T-test. Again, note, this is a little different format than what we have for independent t-test. Uh, the CSV file is formatted a little differently. But otherwise, the analysis, getting our p-value, all of that is, is very similar to what we've seen before. Um, okay, uh, that's, how to do, that's how to do a paired t-test in JASP. I hope that helps, and we will see you in the next video.